Can we just stop ignoring 1930s shoes for a second? Hi guys! I have shoes! <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye! Okay, just kidding! So a while ago people came to the completely correct conclusion that me and American Duchess should do a collab. And we did! Before we get into that though, let's have a short history lesson. <laughs> let's rewind a bit to my humble beginnings as a costume enthusiast. So back in 2013, shortly before, no, shortly after I went to uni, I realized that some people make historical clothing and like costumes as a hobby and it absolutely blew my mind like I'm pretty sure a lot of you had the same thing where you just went like so after a couple of months obsessing over this I was aware that most of the costuming community is based in the US and because it is such a developed hobby there it is also the base of most of the like costume related businesses. I feel like it has gotten a lot better since then. Like even American Duchess right now has a European shop, but back then the US was the absolute gold mine of all things historical. So one of those brands was of course American Duchess, which I think at the time was pretty much the only brand that offered like off the shelf historically inspired shoes. And I remember around that time that they hosted a Christmas photo contest where you would submit your like Christmas themed costumed photo and there were literally like so many skilled costumers and skilled contestants and then there was me <laughs> in a tulle petticoat for 1840s, a cardboard bonnet, an unfinished dress that was closed with pins and a modern fur collar. Uh, we all start somewhere like no shame and even though the contest was pretty competitive like I remember people really getting into it. I somehow managed to snag a hundred dollar gift card which for me back then was honestly like winning the lottery I think I remember like jumping because I won that gift card so funnily enough this is how I got my first American Duchess shoes fast forward to now I own a couple of other pairs including my trusty 18th century shoes that have been with me to Finland, Germany and Ukraine including my Bernadettes, including my Colettes I think, I'm not sure if I remember the names correctly, and my 1940s style shoes that honestly saved me at so many parties, like they're just so good to, to dance in. Okay, why am I why am I telling all this? It's because this lengthy introduction and my humble life story is why I'm so excited for this collab. <laughs> because you know, the 18 year old girl that was just starting off with costume and posing in her sister's bedroom for a Christmas photo would be so excited about this. So I'm so excited for her. <laughs> Okay, so let me take you. What did I do with my fingers? I'm missing one finger right now. So because I'm such a shoe expert right now, like I could basically just go and make shoes. I'm just gonna take you through the whole a process. Why am I shaking my head so much? First, we already knew that we wanted to go for 1930s style shoes because of the video and because of the petition and it just seemed like a good match, you know? Like me liking 1930s shoes, them producing 1930s shoes. We just had to establish, bleh, establish. We just had to establish how many styles we're going for and what sort of styles we're going for. And after much deliberation and much debate, we finally settled on two shoe designs in different color combinations. It's honestly always a bit of a struggle to determine like what I like, what people like. You know, like not necessarily the things I like are going to be like bestsellers, but at the same time, we don't want things that are only like meant to sell. We want things that are nice and pretty. So it's it's a difficult balance to find this sort of like a golden ratio, dare I say. <laughs> so eventually we decided to go for a pump and an oxford. You know, one is more evening wear, one is more day wear. One is more stereotypically comfy, one is more elegant, you know, that sort of thing. Now, I'm not a shoe designer. I have no idea about like the proportions, the technicalities of it all. If I was designing this myself, it would 
probably end up looking like a hoof. But while I didn't personally design the shoes, people back at American Duchess were very open to my inspirations and ideas and they wanted to make sure that we work on the designs together. So I had this whole Pinterest board full of like my favorite 1930s shoes. Some of them were featured in the video, some of them I just added having this collab in mind. And one of the subjects that I really wanted the shoes to be inspired by was how in 1930s fashion and art, especially the, surreal the surrealism movement, they kind of like merged together. So at some point I, I I literally just sent a folder full of photos that I took of jewelry back at the Salvador Dali Museum in Spain. So all of these ideas were sort of like sifted through and were then merged into two shoe designs. My hat just fell off a hook. You good. Two shoe designs that we settled on. One of them is a palm with cutout decorations showing an underlayer in two color combinations. The underlayer is another color. In one color combination, it's just black on black. So like if you're if you like playing it safe, this one's for you. And then the other shoe is sort of like an Oxford style shoe with color block elements as well and with no tongue. So the lacing shows off your foot quite nicely. I think my favorite part of these shoes and of our like design process was figuring out the color palette. Because if you look at the American Duchess website, they have a wide variety of colors, you know, jewel tones, pastels, black, white. So not gonna lie, we went for something that might not be considered a typical American Duchess color palette. Like we just wanted to go crazy. So here's some of the proposed color palettes that I received. The first one to me felt a bit too tame. The second one was really fun, but it was the third one that I saw and I thought, okay, this one is the most me. <laughs> Particularly like the vibrant pink shade that was so common in 1930s high fashion. So when we settled on the color palette, I received renderings of our chosen styles in the color palette that we picked. And I think that's when I could like truly imagine what the shoes will look like when they're actually finished and they're here. So then some time has passed and one day I received a box. The way I literally jumped out of a shower when I heard this package come, <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Now mind you, while all this was happening, I was also simultaneously working on a set of outfits that I could wear with these shoes to use in a photo shoot. So I designed some 1930s slash surrealism inspired sets of clothes and accessories and kind of halfway through I realized that maybe with another big sewing project on the horizon. I may have been like slightly a bit too ambitious about it, but I, I just had to roll with it, you know. Then we had the photo shoot. So fast forward to now, presenting the Carolinas and the memes. See what we did there? That you can pre-order yourself at AmericanDuchess.com. If you pre-order right now, not only will you be sure that the color combination or the size that you're looking for is not sold out yet, but also you will get a special price. Why does it give me Jennifer Coolidge vibes? So here are some practical info. The pre-order starts today, both on the the US and the European website and during the pre-order the size quantities are unlimited and after the pre-order ends on May the 20th they become limited and they may eventually sell out and also during the pre-order you get a sweet deal of $20 or 20 euro off each pair. <laughs> so if you can, hurry up to make sure that your dream color combination is available in your size. I am so excited about this, honestly guys, it's been ages since we started working on this. Just couldn't wait to share this with you guys, so hope you like it!